Hi there, this is Abhishek and in this video I will talk about one of the functions of dplyr package which is one of the very useful package in R for transforming your data into information. So let's go ahead and talk about the topics which are sample underscore n and sample underscore frac which is part of the dplyr package for doing the sampling and with the help of these two functions I, say, I think uh, it becomes really handy because it picks up the n random observation from the data set or based on the percentage if you are specifying then let's say 60 percent of random observation then you can use sample underscore frac so let's use our data set which is empty cars and say uh, empty cars underscore n sample and we will use sample underscore n and it will say it will ask the data set which is empty cars and then the number of observation let's say we want to specify 20 observations 20 so what it will do it will go into the empty cars pick any 20 observations which are random in nature so once we do that it shows us some uh, warnings but not pretty much related to it maybe some other package which is conflicting with it so what i can do is i can show you empty cars underscore and sample and here you have the sample data for all of the observations and that's split all the random sample now let's see it with the help of the frac sample frac so now we will say sample uh, empty cars underscore frac and generally when you are doing the modeling you want the six the 60 percent of the observations into the training data set and 40 percent into the test data set so let's create a training data set from the empty cars so empty cars and sample underscore frac and then specify the data set name which is empty cars and then basically the point six is indicating 60 percent of the data well data that you can get so now if we see empty cars underscore frac this is basically the 60% of the random observations which are coming uh, here in this case. Well, apart from that, uh, as part of the sampling, you have other options into the sample underscore frac and sample underscore n, where you have replace, you have weight or environment, parent dot frame, all of these different uh, operations. And generally, we use replace because sometimes we want to do the sampling with replacement. So if that is the case you need to specify replace is equals to true and by default it is false so make sure that if you want to do random sampling with replacement then tune this parameter to t, t or true to make sure you are getting the right sampling so well this is all basically the two very handy or very simple sample functions i wanted to show you which are part of the dplyr package